Back in December and January, 20,000 rebels descended upon the town and there was mass killings, executions, rape, torture, mutilation. Um, and the bodies were just stacked up in the street out there, literally just outside the hotel. So this has been the place of some pretty horrific scenes over the past few months. It's horrid to see such a stunning country torn apart and I'm getting news that it's not just happening in Bor. All of the main towns now on the River Nile are under threat all the way up to the border is just a complete no-go zone. My head says leave, but my heart says stay and wait for my chance to push on. But Bor feels like a time bomb waiting to explode. So they um, just saw quite a lot of gunfire outside, so we're just going to see what's happening. Oh shit, the light's gone off. Right, there's a lot of firing going on. It's quarter to nine, and there's a battle going on outside. There's a lot of gunfire. There's a tracer going over there. Right, that's not gunfire, that's not small arms. That's either artillery or. I think the safest place for us now, though, is to basically just try and hole up or see if we can get on the roof. Um, it seems to be coming from the direction of the UN compound. That's not even in the direction of UN, right, isn't it? This could be the rebels. This is to the north of the city. Um, this is by the port. This is where we wanted to get to. There's a lot of small arms fire. Tracer are coming in from the north. Um, it seems to be firing through, through the city, straight past this hotel. If the gunfire gets any closer, to be honest, I think the only thing we can do is um, basically get to the river edge. That's not just small arms either. That's either mortars or artillery. Some heavy weapons. Close, that's much closer. Right, that's mortars. I call my security base in the UK. Yeah, you can imagine it. Cool. Um, okay, so situation change. Um, <laughs> Boar is now under attack by the looks of things. Um, basically, there's a, for about the past sort of 15, 20 minutes, there's been quite a lot of small arms fire coming in from the north, um, as well as as well as some heavy weapons. Can't tell what they are yet. Fucking hell, that was loud. If the worst comes to the worst, we'll basically go out onto the river and we might have to basically just get tied up in the reeds and that should be easy enough to, to do um, but, but Yeah, we should go and we'll get our together. Um, we don't need to get them stashed by the door. At first light, I'm forced to leave on the only 4x4 I can find and run the gauntlet back to Juba. It's like a scene from the apocalypse. There's basically hundreds of burnt out vehicles all along the road. I've seen about five or six tanks now, just utterly destroyed and left abandoned to rot. And tens of thousands of empty homes. Entire communities who fleed, there's just no one, it's just completely empty.